All right, how's it going? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News, without purpose or direction. Here's today's first top story. Some rail workers were suspended after a man cave was found under a railway. Do I need to blow this up a little bit so you guys can see it? Probably. And let's see here. There we go. I don't know if you can see that right. Anyway, I hope you can. Authorities were tipped off anonymously and were told the workers would hang out and get drunk in the party room. Whoa, that's, I need that job. Three men have been accused of creating a man cave underneath the New York's Grand Central Station. The three railroad workers were found... What? That don't make no sense. The three railroad workers found the storage room under track 114 and filled it with a television, a fridge, a microwave, and a futon sofa. <sighs> Why wouldn't you? Investigators <sighs> from the Metropolitan Transportation Authority said it appears the employees, a wireman, a carpenter, carpenter foreman, and an electrical foreman used the secret break room when they were supposed to be working. Oh, those slackers. Here's some pictures of the dreaded underground man cave. When the authority was tipped off about the room in February 2019, the anonymous tipper said the workers would hang out and get drunk and party in the room. The room was also deemed a fire hazard <laughs> because it was unmapped meaning the rescue workers would have difficulty finding it, especially as the railroad, the railway's bosses did not know of its existence either. Hello, that was the whole point. The Metro North Railroad workers have been suspended without pay and will face dis disciplinary hearings. Hello. MTA Inspector General Carolyn Pocorny said, Many a New Yorker has fantasized about kicking back with a cold beer in a prime piece of Manhattan real estate, especially one this close to good transportation. But few would have the chutzpah to commandeer a sacred room between Grand Central Tomb. I say, boom, those boys had to chut spa. All right, let's see what else is going on, shall we? Sausage vending machines. Oops, that ain't what I want to do. Hang on now. Oh, my God. We, we have it. Oh, Jesus. Hang on now. We're having a meltdown. All right, I think we're back. Bear with me. We're new at this. <laughs> uh, sausage vending machines are booming in Germany. Oh, some of the machines sell three or four varieties alongside punnets or potato salad. Check out those machines. The, the sausage vending machines, I mean, come on. You can't go wrong with that. Hungry Germans craving a sausage in the dead of night are increasingly turning to vending machines for their bratwurst. I mean, in the dead of night, these people are needing machines. The machines are booming outside German cities where shops are less likely to stay open. All right, well, the shops are closed. You want a sausage? Hey, man. Get to the freaking machine. Look at them. It looks like fresh sausage in there. All right. Well, here's the, the you know, there are over 570,000 vending machines in Germany. Wow. 
Oh my God, they may not be economically viable. I'm gonna put the link, you know, for all these in the description so you guys can follow up with this, but vending machines will play a complementary role in brick and mortar retailing. It says Wolfgang, the German. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move on from Wolfgang to German, and we're going to look at 26 interesting and fun facts about hot dogs. Because, you know, sausages, hot dogs, I made a correlation there. Hot dogs, also known as a Frank. Burger <laughs> is a type of sandwich, blah, blah, blah. You know what the hell it is. Hot dogs war variants include corn dog and pig and blank. I got a feeling these 26 freaking facts are not all that interesting. All right. Eating contests. Imported from Germany, see, that's what I was saying. It's it's related, that's what I was saying. The hot dog became closely associated with baseball and American culture. Although it's particularly connected with New York City. Uh, you know what? I don't know. Here we go. We got, what is this, 26 fun facts. I'm not going to read every one of these. You guys can go read them all yourself. In 1867, Charles Feltman at Coney Island in New York City made a cart with a stove on it, which he used to boil sausages. Told you this was related. The cart also had a compartment to keep buns fresh. Wow, he was way ahead of his time. All right, let's see. In 1845, there were rumors that the sausage makers used dog meat as a main ingredient of hot dog. That's just a rumor. The world's longest hot dog was 60 meters long. Now, I would go back to 1845 when they're rumored to get that one. Hot dogs are one of NASA approved foods for SNS. <laughs> okay. 818 hot dogs are consumed every second in the United States. You know, who, who's counting all these hot dogs being eaten? Okay, whatever. 7-Eleven sells the most grilled hot dogs in North America, with 100 million being sold in. Ooh. Well, you know what? That was some interesting stuff. And I'll put the links in the description so you can follow. So, with that being said, that's the end of, of today's aimless news. You know, aimless news, without purpose or direction. So be sure to like, subscribe, and if you enjoy the aimless news, be sure to share this video far and wide. Because remember, the aimless news must be told.